Hello, my name is Mark. Welcome to my review channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Vimble 2 mobile gimbal. Vitek have included a carry case with the Vimble 2, which I think is a great little extra. When you open this up, you'll see there's a netty section at the top for accessories. And initially, you've just got all the little bits that come with this. That includes a quick start guide to get you up and running, give you the basics, a charging cable. This is charged via micro USB. There's also charging cables for your phone because the gimbal can charge your phone and there's three different adapter types included. There's also a mini tripod that opens out and can be used to steady this. A wrist strap, just to make sure if you drop it, you don't actually allow it to fall to the floor. And this can be used with other tripods as well. It has a standard tripod thread on the bottom and it just screws on and stands in place. That's useful if you want to take some selfies, whether they be video or photo. As you can see, the mini tripod collapses down and opens out very easily. On the handle, you've got the USB charging port on the left, the controls around the middle, which include a joystick to control the gimbal itself, power function button and the recording button. And on the right hand side is a small toggle switch. If you've not used a mobile gimbal before, you pop your mobile in the top and then it provides a nice steady motion as you're moving around. The nice thing about the Vimble 2 is it extends as a little selfie stick, allowing you to get a further out shot than you normally would be able to. A lot of gimbals are more like this, slightly closer up, so you end up having to hold it out or have it very close up. The control on the bottom allows you to do different things. So you can see this now is locked in place. It's not moving around. When I release it, it then starts tracking around again. For those of you who prefer to shoot portrait rather than landscape, you're also catered for as it can be rotated around and hold your phone in either position. Phones are held very securely via a spring mechanism. It can be a bit tricky to get the phones in. Note that you may need to remove cases if you happen to have a large phone with a large screen, but I found it does fit my OnePlus 6 in even with a case. Now to test this out, I'm going to take this into the field and I want this to be a fair test. So I'm going to be using two mobiles that are the same. This is the Alcatel 3. There's a couple of reasons for picking it. One, I have access to two of them. Two, this is a budget phone, so it doesn't have great image stabilization when you're filming video. So I have the non-gimbaled on the left and the gimbal on the right. Just a little walk forward, actually heading to a um, little farmer's market, so we'll get some footage there. I'm a big fan of the DJI Osmo Mobile, so I've brought that along as well, and we're going to do a quick comparison. This was all shot using the out of the box settings, but you do have a companion app and that allows you to select different modes. You can adjust the white balance, ISO, etc. You can also change quite a few different bits about the gimbal. This is how you adjust the settings such as motor strength, shooting seam. There's quite a few different options. It might seem a little bit overwhelming and you may think, my goodness, this, is, this isn't going to be very clear, but actually it, you don't need to touch most of these most of the time. I have to say I, I didn't touch them at all, but they're there if you want to have a little play. And if you're really struggling to understand what's going on with it, you can also access the user manual. The user manual is fully available in the app, so you can have a quick scroll down and find out what button you need to press or what setting you need to change to get it to do what you want it to do. For the most part, I've found the Vimble 2 to be an excellent 
uh, little mobile gimbal. The only thing that's really annoyed me is the button configuration. I am used to the DJI Osmo. I think the buttons are slightly better laid out. On here, the start and stop button is very close to the power button and there's been a few occasions where I've wanted to stop recording. I've held down the wrong button and I've ended up losing the recording I was trying to do. But aside from that, I do like the fact that it's got the slightly extended selfie stick. And I also like that you can charge your phone as well. It comes with the little charging cables. That's really useful if you're gonna be out and about doing a lot of filming with your mobile. You don't want it to go flat. It is running an app and you can simply charge it. If you want to learn more about the Vimble 2, I will put links in the description below. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.